Ooh, y'all, I got some plants. <laughs> this is gonna be super chaotic. Um, so I have a box right here. I am very excited for these plants. I'm so excited. Um, but hello, sorry, I didn't say that. Hi. This package is from the Prop Studio Toronto. So this package is from the Prop Studio TO here in Toronto. And they're basically a multi-vendor marketplace for people to sell their plants and other products. And you know, when I found out about it, I was kind of obsessed. Like, I think it's a fantastic idea. And obviously I want to support locally, so. Uh, what did I order? Anthuriums, there's one alocasia. Is that it? It was so long ago. How long ago was it? Oh, everything's a blur right now, y'all. I'm trying to cut my coffee down. My eye under here is starting to twitch. I don't know if y'all can see it. People say magnesium. I've been taking magnesium. It's not helping. Previous times it's helped, but I'm linking it to uh, my caffeine intake because I have increased it <laughs> recently. And my sleep is fine. My sleep is fine. So I think it's the caffeine. Anyhow, I don't know why I started talking about that. Oh yeah, everything was a blur. I do want to say that this is not sponsored. I did buy these plants. But Nikki, who also has an Instagram, who has fantastic, beautiful plants, she runs this, I keep wanting to say hub. Is, would you say that marketplace? The Prop Studio. Basically, these anthuriums in this box, they're from David, who runs Confused Planto on Instagram. Wide variety of anthuriums. And I'm really excited. Like, I don't know. Um... Oh, the knife is behind me. <laughs> okay, while I open this box, I, this isn't the first time I've ordered from them. So I actually bought a few plants. I, at this point, it's been a month. It's been a month. And the reason why I haven't posted that yet is because um, I did the unboxing with one of my best friends, Marion. Hi, Marion. It was too chaotic. We were screaming. Um, I'll include some clips, uh, but it was too much and I was like, if I ever order plants again, I'll include those clips after I do this unboxing so I, I can show you those plants. And then I'll show you an update since it's been a month from that time. There hasn't really been many changes. Um, but yeah, we're basically just screaming. We're screaming at each other, yelling. <sighs> Girly. <gasps> Sorry. I am greeted, greeted. I need to, I really need to show this. Okay. Oh my God. Things are falling. So y'all can already see the anthuriums. Okay. Um, let's start off actually with the alocasia. I know in the beginning of my plant journey, I had so many alocasias. Um, the only alocasia I have left is my golden bone. And actually I was gifted another one, which I'll show you in the, f the following clip after I do all these plans. I love alocasias. I really do. Um, the interest just kind of went down and I did gift uh, my silver dragon and my dragon scale to a few friends. And so I'm starting to build that uh, alocasia, you know? I don't know what I'm singing, but I'm like trying to like build my, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to get more. I don't know. I should've just said that. What am I thinking? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Y'all know what this is. Y'all know what this is. Alocasia Friedek? Friedek. Okay. I know this might not be a big deal for y'all, but listen. <laughs> I saw this one and I was like, girly. I like the dispersion. Dispersion, is that it? Dispersion. I can't even speak anymore. Okay, <laughs> let's just leave it. Um, okay, plans about this one. I do wanna do LECA. Cause y'all know that my golden bone, it's a one LECA. Um, I've had varieties, like I've had the Alocasia Watsoniana that Sorry, my sink is making noises. My Watsoniana did not like it. I don't know why, uh, but, okay, wait, I'm just trying to find, trying to find a... I am just thrilled and excited to see this one grow. I know this is old news for a lot of people, but I've, I haven't even gotten like, what is it called, the green version, the Michael. No, that's, that's not, Michael's different. <laughs> what is it called? Uh, 
My, my brain is melting, everyone. Mikulitsiana. I just saw this one. I personally thought it was affordable at the price that it was priced. I think there's a few more on the website if y'all want to snatch one. But yas, okay. Very exciting. Oh my gosh, okay. So the first one is the Alocasia Fry Deck. Uh, let me know if anyone has experience in Lekka or even like if you have experience in Aerie Mix's Pond. I know there's so many out there. I know y'all know better <laughs> than I do when it comes to growing, really at this point, like allocations in general, but the Fry Deck, I'm very excited. <laughs> okay, wow, I, I actually, I wasn't expecting how beautiful this looks and the venation we're gonna. Oh, okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, let's do the one that I was going to do. Stop, look at this. It's so hard to, oh my gosh. So this is a, oh God, I forget which order. Okay, Dark Crystallinum crossed with Zara Michelle. So, you know, obviously right now you can't really see like how dark the leaves are. Sometimes you don't see that until much later. It does look kind of dark actually. And obviously like, I don't know what the mother looked like. I haven't seen a dark crystal in person, so I'm not sure, but this looks pretty, oh, I don't know. I'm obsessed. And then obviously, you know, depending on the parents, depending on like the selection, when it comes to Zara and Michelle's, you get that pinky purpley venation and you can see it just ever so slightly, but you know, honestly, it looks a lot better in person. Um, it looks good on the website. I'm not saying that it looks bad. I'm just saying, like specifically when I opened the box, I was like, oh my gosh, you can see the pinks. I, I don't think y'all can see the pinks. Do you see how like the venation is just, <laughs> oh my God. Wow. It's interesting cause okay, so this is the oldest leaf. I don't know if you can see it here, but in person you can still see like the pinks, which is just amazing. Here's why I'm excited because sometimes like you have Zara Michelle hybrids that don't have, you know, the those pinks that you like. Uh, as far as I can tell, I see it. Sorry, I'm scratching. My eczema has not gotten better, especially working in the hospital again. <sighs> oh, my hands are so dry. This plant has actually been up um, on the Prop Studio TO since its like initial launch um, at the very beginning. And I always like resist it, but it was like, okay, Kev, it's been there for a little bit. Um, I think it's calling out to you. And I think I made the right decision, especially seeing it in person. Wow, it is so cute. Ooh, I, I also like how, I don't know, the leaves are like kind of longer. Do you see that? Oh my God, this is amazing. Oh, this is bad. I'm like now gonna try to buy so many plants because like this like high I'm on right now. <laughs> wow, guys. I'm so in love. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Um, let me try to see. So I think, cause it looks like it's pawn and it does look like it's rooted. It might not be pawn specifically. It might be like perlite. It looks like pawn to me. I don't know. And then the backs, like, look at the backs. You know, I don't think the camera's doing it justice. Yay. I've been trying to control myself when it comes to specifically anthuriums because the amount of hybrids, it's endless and like, in certain batches, like you don't know what they're gonna look like once they mature. Obviously, like there's some attributes, like how dark they are, you know, the venation, like you'll see that early on. So you select like those ones. Am I making sense? Anyhow, I'm so in love with this. It looks so cute. I'm very excited. Okay, plan. What's the plan? I guess I'm gonna put them in pawn. I've just had so many, like I feel like crystallinum is such a hardy like anthurium type that you could do so much to it and it won't like fuss. But the same thing with Zara Michelle, like yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with pawn. It's in pawn already, I think that makes sense. It is so beautiful. Okay, second plant, anthurium, dark crystal, cross with Zara Michelle. The next one, since it's the other anthurium in here, there's a new leaf, stop, Ooh. no, 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 no. I'm like always scared when there's a new leaf coming because the shock of the transfer or the, the shipping, sometimes it's just like, it freaks out and it just like, um, I'd even tell you what plant this is. 
This is the Anthurium Bigfoot Cross With Self. So, so this plant was originally, well, I, hold on. I'm gonna give you all the wrong information. I'm gonna give you the wrong information. So I think it's from, okay, so that's from Cartel Dawn. I had the pronunciation saved somewhere on my phone and I cannot find it, but y'all know that that's not how you say it. So I apologize again. Don't come for me, honey. As far as I know, the uh, Anthurium Bigfoot is basically a no ID Anthurium. Again, don't come for me if that's wrong. Um, but it has big leaves and the venation, it's hard to explain because in the beginning I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get the hype. It looks just like, you know, a type, of, a type of magnificum if anything, but they're dark and the venation, like they don't completely go to the edge of the leaf. <laughs> Such a bad job. I want to get a Bigfoot seedling um, anyways, but because I saw that this one was a lot bigger um, than like a seedling, and y'all know that my track record when it comes to itty bitty seedlings is very, very poor. And like, I don't know how to do Anthurium seedlings. Like it is so difficult for me. Um, I think it's because I don't have high humidity um, and I don't really keep them in high humidity um, for too long and then they just decline. <laughs> To climb after. I think when they're seedlings, they need that, like the perfect conditions to like thrive until they're a bit more mature. Anyhow, I'm rambling. Okay, so the Bigfoot, it's just exciting because I still think like at this point, you just don't know yet, like what it's gonna look like. Um, they're still very small. I don't know, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited about this. Um, oh, I didn't show you the leaf. This is the leaf. So I think it's gonna be okay because there is a service um, in the greater Toronto area where you can get local delivery. Um, so even though it's in a box, it was delivered like to me and it wasn't in shipping or anything. So it didn't have like the cold as a factor or like, you know, the box getting thrown everywhere. Yay, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I like, I'm kind of obsessed with it. Like. Do y'all know what I'm saying? Like the veins don't go all the way or there's no like additional vein like going around. I don't know, I'm obsessed. Um, okay, let's look at the two anthuriums. I just wanna show them side by side cause I wanna show you, look, it's much pinker, the dark crystal Zara Michelle. It's pink. Do you know what I mean? But like when you just show this, you can't really tell. At least I can't see it. Like I can't see the pink on camera when I look over there. So the Anthurium Bigfoot Crosswood Self. Oh, I forgot, in pond. Probably gonna keep it in pond, um, especially now that it's at this stage. I find when you put like small itty bitty Anthuriums into pond, they freak out or they like just rot. It's like too heavy for them. It stays too wet sometimes. Um, I've had my share of seedlings dying in, in a pond when they're so small, um, but I think this one will be okay. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Eee, okay. <sighs> okay. What is this? Okay, okay, okay. It's in a cup. So saying all this, I did buy a couple seedlings. Um, you know, even though I keep saying I'm really bad with them, I obviously want to get better. And like the only way to get better is to get some <laughs> and try again and like, <laughs> I'm obviously like I'm hoping it'll be okay, but you never know. Okay, the floofy. Okay, I'm kind of obsessed. Oh my god, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm so scared. The leaves are so fragile. Okay, jeez, what is this? Dad bod. What is it? Oh, Anthurium. <laughs> Anthurium dad bod crossed with. I know that's. Oh wait, it's not. It's. <laughs> this is so chaotic. Okay, I found. <laughs> <laughs> Anthurium papillolaminum, dad bod, crossed with Regarden's papillolaminum. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so, whew, scared. I'm scared because, again, itty bitty, itty bitties. So fragile. I'm gonna have to put this like in high, high hum humidity. Oh Lord Jesus. Oh, maybe I'll just like keep it in the cup like that. Do you think that's good enough? Um, but you can already see, at least I think, <laughs> the leaves look long. <laughs> I honestly can't tell you, you know, the difference. I think the dad bod has larger lobes at the top. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Here it is. Okay, let me, um, I actually do want to take off this tape. God, I am so freaking scared, man. I'm so scared. Oh, oh. Okay, we'll like do this. Yeah, I really believe this is the year of the anthuriums to just go off, whether that's like, you know, the ones I have already, you know, taking off, whether that's getting more and those ones taking off. Oh, I'm so scared. I don't even have moss. Oh, see, this is when the stem is like this tiny and the roots are like that. No, okay, I'm gonna have to put moss around there and I'm probably just gonna put it back in this cup and then cover it. Like, I think that's what it's gonna be. Okay. <laughs> so scared. <laughs> Here's that. Spoiler alert, I got two of them. So let me just unpack the other one. I feel like a bro broken record, but um, you just never know. It's so cute. You just, you just never know what the parents are gonna look like. Um, I mean, what the, what they're gonna look like when they grow up. Here's the second one. So do you see what I mean? Um, it looks quite different actually. And I don't know if it's just gonna, oh my gosh, I can't even remove the lid. Do you see? It's, this one seems longer than this one. Oh my God, can you focus? <laughs> okay, there. <laughs> um, they're around the same size. I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing where I put moss, uh, like wet moss around it and then put it back in this cup. But because I don't, where did I, oh, it fell. Because I don't have any um, moss on hand, I'm just gonna keep it like this. <sighs> I'm praying that y'all will live. I need to clarify, so Nikki, so this is actually from Nikki's collection and she was the vendor even though she runs the prop studio. Um, and then these anthuriums, so dark crystals are Michelle, Bigfoot, Crosswood Self, and then the Papala Lamina. <laughs> Dad bod cross with Re Gordon's Papa La Lamino. Um, they're all from David Confused Planto. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's what I bought, but there's more stuff in here. So let's go through it. This is really cute and it's gonna be so handy. So, oh my God, I keep dropping everything. These are cute. They're clear clips like for your trellises. So Sneaky Plants, which is Nikki's like personal plant account. So beautiful. And I do have the green ones, uh, but the clear ones, you know, I didn't think I was gonna like the look of clear ones, but I kind of love them. <laughs> so here's another look from the other side. This was a gift. Oh my God, Nikki. What are you doing? Okay, let me just like find, I'm like so scattered. I haven't filmed in a month. This is very strange for me. Okay. Oh, I did buy another one. Okay, I'm wrong. The last one from Nikki too. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna break it. Okay, so the last one here, it's a hybrid. And for me, I personally think like the excitement of growing Anthurium hybrids from like itty bitty sizes, is just like you, you really don't know what they're gonna look like when they're gonna mature. Like they might have the characteristics, but you actually don't know. Ooh, hi, okay. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> There's so many names and I'm like, sure. Hi, oh my God, I'm so scared. Like just feeling the leaf. I'm just like, you feel so fragile. I'm gonna put in a high humidity. This, oh God, there's so many. This is an Anthurium Carla cross with BVEP. I think, is, isn't that, isn't BVEP now a uh, note, key eye. <laughs> I'm new guys, I'm new. Um, anyhow, so it's the hybrid cross with the, the dark form of Ace of Spades. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then it says also that this was, oops, this was a seedling butt cut, which yes, that is true. And it was bought from um, Two Plant Daddy. So just like not knowing, tree fern on top of Lekka. I'm kind of like in this weird mood where I want to try tree fern, but I'm just like, Ugh. I'm so scared to like try it on like these beauties, but yeah. So there's a couple of these. I think this is the leaf that was part of the butt cut. Cause you can see that's a butt. And then there was like this offshoot on the other side. So I'm gonna keep in this cup cause girly, 
No, no, no. Let's keep the humidity in. Uh, I'm gonna put all of these in a bin and we're just gonna like, you know, cross our fingers. Um, okay, Nikki, sweetness of her heart. Also, this is heavy. Oh my God. I'm shocked at how heavy these are. I know these are t-shirts. Okay, hold on. I don't want to get any information wrong. So she said that um, she wanted to give me some non-planty items. Um, they're basically statement shirts from my other shop dedicated to creative. So this bag is cute. It's create with purpose. And then here it is. And then that's where you can find them. So Instagram, their website and where they're located here in Toronto. Okay, maybe they're not t-shirts. I saw t-shirts on the website. What? Oh, oh, things are dropping. It's exploded. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Okay, there's a few stickers. Again, I'm saying this now. This is not sponsored. Again, I just thought this was so kind. This is born to create. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Whoa. Um, there are four in here. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> there are four shirts. Nikki, what are you doing? This is so kind. Uh, are we gonna have a fashion show? Whoa, whoa, okay. Whoa, I like how it's not loud. I like how the the words on the shirt are like this similar tone to what the shirt color is. It says born to create. Okay, I'm gonna try it on. Here's the thing, y'all. I started working out and like my body's changing and I remember she asked for my size and I'm like small, I think. What did I say? I said, hopefully. Shirtless, is that appropriate for you to Oh my God, this feels good. Oh my God. I realized I didn't have my mic. I realized I didn't have my mic. Oh my God. Okay, I think I'm just gonna hold it like this because I'm gonna have to change out of it. But I was saying, I was like, do you know what? I kind of love how this looks on my skin tone. Here's the thing, y'all. A new thing I'm trying to do is to be comfortable with my body. So here's the body. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. I know this is dramatic. I feel like my reactions are dramatic. I didn't do the mic thing again. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? I'm so sorry. I hope y'all heard a little bit. Okay. Wow. Okay. This color is amazing. Y'all, this looks good. Are you kidding? Oh, this is like, what is the color? It's pink, mauve, I don't even know. Cute. Wow, I don't think I've ever had something in this color, but I'm kind of obsessed. I think it looks good. Do y'all think it looks good? Wow, 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 wow. This is vibrant. This is so vibrant. Oh my God, I'm, I would never wear blue like this. This is cute. This is so kind. I'm gonna wear these. <laughs> like, I'm gonna wear these. Okay, I'm on the website because I want to like get my facts right, but um, they say there are only very limited stocks and will not be reproduced anymore. Oh, it's funny. I didn't even see this. It says heavyweight, <laughs> which clearly when I opened it, I, I love how this is supposed to be like a plaid situation. Right here. I'll put a link in the description. This blue... I'll put a link in the description if y'all want to check it out. Yeah, thank you, Nikki. I'll put in the clip. I'm going to try my very best, y'all, to edit the clip from a month ago of the plants I got from the Prop Studio TO. Um, the plants were from both Nikki and David from Confused Planto. Um, and then I'll show you, I'll join you again in the present time. Just to show you like how they're doing today. Again, there's not a lot of changes, but there's one I'm kind of excited for. Anyhow, I'll join you at the end. So I do have this card that says, thank you, how adorable. Okay, yay, look at this everyone, okay. Oh my God, look at these cute little things. Oh my God. Okay y'all. Oh my God, I don't know if y'all can hear Marion, but I just need to show you these cute little enamel pins. If I die, water my plants, cute. And then aloe you very much. Oh, so cute. I love this. Is it from David? <sighs> There's even a freaking name there. It says the Prop Studio T.O. Hello. Oh. I just dropped it. You're distracting me. Okay, so this is the first one, everyone. So this is, um, oh gosh. There's too many words with this one. There's no Leica. It's just stones. There's no Leica. Okay, what are your thoughts? What's the name of this plot? Anthurium Leviosa. <laughs> 
This is the Anthurium Super Red Crystallinum Cross with Red Crystallinum WU9. This seedling is actually from Wuho Tropicals Don't Start. <laughs> Oh my god, Eddie. <laughs> um, so, okay, shush! So I'm very excited just because, like, obviously when they're this size, you don't actually know, like, what they're gonna look like. Um, obviously y'all know that my track record when it comes to Young Anthuriums is, like, garbage. Like, I'm so, so bad at, like, growing, like, Anthurium seedlings when they're this young. So I'm crossing my fingers. Send me help, everyone. Tell me what to do. I'm definitely gonna keep this in high humidity because I think... This one was kept at like 75% um, humidity, but it feels good. Like it looks so cute. Hey, what's, I, what, what is it? That's a Largosia Dragonia Anthuria. This is not a Largosia, okay? Okay, shush again. <gasps> Stop. Okay. Oh my gosh. Whew, okay. Y'all, do you see? Yeah, oh my god is right. That's ginormous, so Largosia. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, everyone. These leaves are so beautiful. Oh my gosh, wow. What do you think, Marianne? Is it pretty? Okay. Oh my god. Isn't it pretty? Anyways, so this is gorgeous, super healthy. It feels good. It looks so, are you kidding? Okay, I'd even tell you what it is. Marianne, stop. Oh, oh, let me guess. Is it Woohoo number 10? <laughs> number 10, number 10. So this is actually a hybrid. It's an Anthurium No ID code red crossed with Papalalaminum A+. plus. I don't know if I'm saying this right, A+. plus. I'm gonna put it here. I know nothing about these two plants, but like I just fell in love with how like, I mean, Papalalaminum, hello. Like it looks so beautiful. What do you say? Oh. Something else. Can you read it again? Read what it says. An Anthurium, no ID, code red. <laughs> and you said that? I was like, Anthurium, no ID, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you did a lead on that. I was like, oh my god. So they, they call them no ID if they're not sure. Anyways, and a papalalaminum. Pomplemus. So it looks like this is in pawn, which is fantastic. Y'all know me in pawn. Pound. Come to replay. Come, Mr. DJ. So there's a surprise plant in here. I think it's an, is it an alocasia? I think it is, which is like. I know what an alocasia is. Isn't that like a dragon? So it looks like an alocasia. What is that? Dragon's <laughs> breath. Oh. So you're right. You said dragon. Oh, it's a dragon. Oh my God. I'm Anyways, so this is actually from Nikki from Sneaky Plants. So thank you so much. Oh my God. Okay, guys. Kevin's Q&A. No, okay, y'all. Maren wants to host a Q&A where she reads out the questions that y'all have for me and I answer them. But I think it's just gonna be too chaotic. But let me know if you want that because like, yes, I don't want do. it. Yes, do. I don't want it, but this girl's pushing me. <laughs> I was about to throw everything away and I grabbed this thing and there's something here. Did you say a cop? Okay, y'all, I'm so sorry. There's another one that I didn't order. What is this? I was about to literally just throw everything away. And now I'm like squishing all the tissue paper. Maybe I need to check for gannets. Yeah, gannets. Gannets. Flying in your mouth. Yeah. Actually. Are you ready? Okay, wait. I'm gonna close my eyes and you have to describe it to me. What is it? Where's the plant? Where? It has a lid. Oh my god. Stop. Uh, I don't understand. Can you show me? <gasps> little, look. Okay, read it. Little gift from David. Aw, oh, thank you. Little so gift from David. David, we love you. God, see, Marion loves you, David. What did you say? There's a net. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so. Thank you. 
<laughs> what are you saying now? Shout out to David. Did you take your Benadryl today? <laughs> <laughs> I will. Okay. Okay, shush. Okay, I gotta show them. So the label says that this is like a mid. Wait, I can't read it. Let me read it. Come here. <laughs> mid. <laughs> mid ult. <laughs> mid. Oh, tropical. This is so nice. So what? What is it? I. Where's the plant? I cannot <laughs> see it. Oh, is it? A, is it called like a sprout? Oh, does it say mid cut? Oh, it's mid cut. It's mid cut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is a mid cut of a dark phoenix. Dark phoenix. Oh, really? Where does it say dark phoenix? Right here. It's DP. Oh, DP times self. Yeah. So when when you pollinate with the same plant, because the flower it goes through the male and the female cycle, but right after each other. So you basically have to collect the pollen and then save it. And then when it goes into the female cycle, you rub it. <laughs> Wait, the person or the- The flower. <laughs> I'm a little scared because like, you know me and like, honestly, it looks like a young little thing. I'm worried, but you know what? I'm gonna keep it in a little like dome to keep the humidity up. It's in moss and you can see like some roots here. So yeah, wow, this is so nice. Thank you, David. David cute. I is David cute? <laughs> I'm sure he's very cute. Oh yeah, fun fact everyone. This, this girl is the one who came up with the name Hakuna La Planta. No one clapped. You don't need to say thanks. You should play the Lion King song. We'll see you next time at Kevin and Marianne's Q and A. Oh my god. Okay, bye guys. Okay, this is the one I'm the most excited about. The uh, super red crystal cross with red crystal from Woohoo Tropicals. So there is in fact a new leaf, and you know. When you look at this batch and like when you go on Instagram and see others who have bought uh, seedlings in the same batch, a lot of them have more pinks, they have more reds. And so like seeing that the previous leaves like this one over here and this one don't have any, it was like, okay, this one isn't gonna be red because sometimes, actually most times, they don't carry those genetics um, even though, you know, you have two parents that are so strong when it comes to the reds. Um, but y'all, <laughs> I know we don't know yet. I know we don't know yet. I don't know. Having a seedling that has this kind of red, I don't know. I'm, I'm hopeful. I remember I was talking to someone on Instagram and we we're talking about, you know, how sometimes at this point you'd be able to see it. So I was like, not particularly hopeful, but wow, was I surprised to see this. So what has happened since I did the unboxing? I basically kept it on um, or in my normal environment. Um, since that's happened, there's been crisping. I think I, I didn't watch the previous clip yet. So this is the one I was excited about because you can see reds. So let me try to like show it this way. This is better. Oh, my camera is so bad. So it's there. It's doing this thing. It's really cute. Um, so we'll see. I, um, I don't know what to do, like when it comes to um, substrate. Um, I, I still think I'm gonna keep it the way it is. So I think a mix of tree fern, it looks like pond perlite, like very chunk. And then uh, I wanna cover this aerial root. I haven't yet. There's one right there. But she's doing okay. So this is the month update, new leaf. And it's looking very good. Yay! Okay, so that's one. The gift from David. Dark Phoenix crossed with self. This is a mid cut. The new leaf. Oh my God, and I was so excited. I sent him a picture. I'm like, look what it did. <laughs> I still have all the things like attached. So here is the first new leaf that's like open and hardened off. 
a hard enough a while ago, I can see that there is a new leaf and actually there is a new aerial root. So I, I probably need to cover it, but like it's not focusing and my camera's overheating. Ooh. Um, yeah, very excited. So she looks this way because um, there was actually a, a time that the moss dried out completely. I'm so bad with moss when it's in such a small um, amount because they do dry out uh, quite quickly, especially when it has a really good root system, which this one does. Um, and actually my room is starting, starting to get a lot hotter. So it was underwatering. Plus right now, currently she's under a grow light. And I know anthuriums don't necessarily like highlight conditions, but I just, I was just too scared. I mean, y'all saw what it looked like before. Like I was so terrified. So this is the update with this one. Okay, had to put a fan behind my camera. Okay, this looks sad, but she's still okay. <laughs> she's still okay, let me just pour out the water. Okay, so this is the dragon's breath, Alocasia. Uh, I kept her the way she is. This is the new leaf. I did cut the other leaf. I know she looks rough. Um, this one actually had a similar situation. Um, again, you can see the top parts in moss, but it dried out. And I swear I saw a good root. Where did it go though? I swear I saw a good root. Okay, well, we're just gonna keep hoping. It feels good though. Like, I know she looks rough. Again, I'm blasting them because I'm scared. I do this with all my new plants. I always blast them with a ton of light for no reason because I just need them to be safe and I just need them to continue to grow. I need them to like make enough food so they can survive the shock. So yeah. That is, I'm actually very excited because like big versions of this plant, amazing. And okay, I transferred, I think this is the last one, is it? I transferred the last one into a self-watering uh, planter of pawn. I am happy to say that there is a new leaf. Now, I don't know if it's gonna survive because I did transfer it while it was like kind of there. Future Kevin Zoom in, is it there? Can you all see it? <laughs> um, obsessed, so I don't know. I was, you, I don't know if I said it in the unboxing video, but I'm still shocked to this day that I got this plant just the way it looks. And this is just amazing looking, in my opinion. Like there is a touch of red. Um, I don't even know if y'all can see it. There is a touch of red there somewhere. Um, that you can see the code, the no ID code red. So we don't necessarily know where the, what the parents looks like or what they are, um, but it has really bright venation. I'm pretty sure. Anyhow, but yeah, she's doing just fine. Under grow light, but not like right under, probably getting medium to bright and direct light. Um, the other ones that I showed you previously, they're getting bright and direct light. Um, this one, because it's more mature, uh, even though I did transfer it, I just kept the lighting consistent, so 14 hours a day. And yeah, I don't know. So exciting. I'm really excited for this one. Like, I just know that this one's gonna be one of my favorites. I already know, I already know. Every time I leave the camera and I come back, it's just like ghost. Like a go, oh, oh, oh. Like a ghost, ghost, ghost. Those are in my memory. Okay, favorites from this unboxing. You know, there's something about the red and pink venation. I don't know. It might be Dark Crystals are Michelle. It might be that one. I like the shirt. <laughs> it's like not even plant related. I'm gonna have to say this one is probably my favorite out of the, the other ones. And just because I'm, I'm really excited to introduce Alocasias back into my collection, um, it might have to be Alocasia, Friday. Okay. What was y'all's favorites? I really want to thank Nikki and David, um, you know, today and also the unboxing a month ago, again, for all the gifts, like the kindness and generosity, like it's insane. Like, thank you so much again. I know I only really showcased, you know, Nikki's plants and David's plants today, but there are more vendors on the website. So please check them out, the Prop Studio TO. Um, I forgot to address that I was supposed to be on a break. <laughs> I, you know, I kind of bought too many plants that I kind of need to make more money to just pay for the, the plants. So um, you'll be seeing more of me. And again, I need to stress, um, I, I kind of like implemented these uh, permanent, not permanent, mandatory breaks from social media, whether that's uploading videos on YouTube, staying off Instagram. I did a very poor job in the past week trying to stay off Instagram. 
um, posting on Instagram. Um, I, it's kind of just to help me. Uh, and I, I, I kind of just want to force myself to take the breaks. And I, I think I said this in an Instagram story that I was okay and nothing's bad. I'm still at the happiest I've been um, in quite a long time, you know, working part-time at the hospital, doing YouTube part-time. So um, I just wanted to keep that momentum rolling. And like, so that's why I implemented this mandatory break. But right now, because <laughs> of all the spending, on the plans, I need to just put out more videos. <laughs> so please like this video um, and um, share it. And 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 I, I really am so grateful. And I need to say this again. I'm so grateful that y'all are still coming back, even though I'm not posting consistently. Consist consistently is that the word? What's the word I want to say? Consistent. I want to say consistency. It's not consistency. <laughs> I can't consistently. <laughs> And it just, it just really, it means a lot. It really does. Um, because this is still like, you know, a dream come true for me. Um, sharing my journey, um, sharing my plants with y'all and just, um, it's everything. So thank you again. The next video is gonna be a plant tree video, but who knows? Probably gonna do another favorites video. Probably gonna do like an update when it comes to the My Monstera Obliqua Peru. Might do an orchid update, like a year of growing Phalaenopsis in, in Lekka, I might do that. And maybe a update on my North Shore Tropicals uh, baby anthuriums that are now big. Well, one of them's gigantic. The other ones are like medium, I guess. <laughs> I'm rambling. See, after a month, I just like don't know how to film. Has it been a month? Three weeks, I would say. Um, this video is going out on Monday, so don't look at the sun. Uh, for those in the path, um, <laughs> just rambling okay thank you i'll see you the next one <laughs>